to St. Vincent College's 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Today, we gather in the St. Vincent Arch Abbey Basilica to recognize all graduates of the calendar year 2020, who earned bachelor's and master's degrees, and to confer an honorary doctoral degree to our keynote speaker, Dr. Jerry Eckerd Queenan. In a year that will be remembered for the numerous challenges and sacrifices we face together as a community, we must convene virtually to mitigate the COVID-19 pandemic. These times have impacted each of us and also exposed our resilience and resolve. As J.R.R. Tolkien wrote, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Joining me here in the Basilica are Reverend Martin de Portes Bartel of the Order of St. Benedict, Archabbot and Chancellor of St. Vincent. Reverend Paul Taylor of the Order of St. Benedict, President of St. Vincent College. Dr. Jeffrey Mallory, Executive Vice President of St. Vincent College and Reverend Killian Locke of the Order of St. Benedict, Director of Campus Ministry. Please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps for the invocation delivered by Archabbot Martin. Following the invocation, you may be seated for the welcome and conferral of honorary degree by President Father Paul Taylor. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust to the hands of God our graduates. May God, who began this good work in you, carry it through to completion, enabling you to use your talents to the fullest. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful to your commitments always confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with comfort in only the truth and authentic relationships so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with dissatisfaction at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people so that you will work for justice equality, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war, so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain into joy. May God bless you with the courage to know that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. May your virtue and integrity be a gift to the world, and may the Spirit of God be with you always. We ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning and welcome to St. Vincent College for the virtual December commencement as we recognize all of our graduates 
of the year 2020. We certainly wish that we could come together in person today celebrating this milestone. From wherever you may be joining us, though, we pray that you and your loved ones are healthy and safe, and we pray for an end to this pandemic, which has created so much upheaval, struggle, and grief in our world. <clears throat> to all of our graduates, congratulations. Your commitment to completing your degree and doing so amid extraordinary circumstances is not only commendable, it's inspiring. Indeed, you have been asked to climb a steeper hill at the end of this journey. We are proud to call each of you Bearcats, and now even more proud to call you alumni of St. Vincent College. To the parents, families, friends, and loved ones who are joining us today, we are thankful for you and the role you have played in the lives of these graduates. Your support has enabled these young people to overcome these challenges and embrace the opportunities here at St. Vincent. To the faculty, staff, and administration, this past year has been most unusual. Your dedication to our students remains central to the St. Vincent experience and is the reason that these graduates are now prepared to lead the world they are entering after St. Vincent. At this time, I am pleased to introduce today's commencement speaker, Jerry Eckert Queenan, senior partner at the Bridgespan Group, a global nonprofit organization that collaborates with mission driven leaders, organizations, and philanthropists to break cycles of poverty and injustice. This semester, we were pleased to welcome her to campus and the Fred Rogers Center to receive an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters and to provide the address to our class of 2020. On behalf of the academic and monastic communities here at St. Vincent, it is my privilege to welcome Mrs. Jerry Eckhart Queenan to receive our honorary degree. As a leader in private, public, nonprofit, and faith organizations, your life's work addresses society's most vexing problems to champion social justice and advance the common good. Your innovative approaches using data-driven measures to identify effective global practices have transformed organizations to be more effective for those whom they serve. Your work with Goldman Sachs, the Ford Foundation, MacArthur Foundation, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Catholic Charities, and many others has empowered the underserved, reduced poverty, and promoted human flourishing. Your influential analysis and research on nonprofit strategy, governance, women's entrepreneurship, and performance assessment have been presented at the Global Philanthropy Forum Vatican Impact Investing Conference, McDonald Conference for Leaders of Character at West Point and other venues, and published in the Stanford Social Innovation Review, Chronicle of Philanthropy, and other journals. Your service to the government of the United States of America includes being a White House Fellow, then Associate Deputy Secretary of Labor, and later Chair and CEO of the White House Fellows Foundation, and a member of the President's Commission on White House Fellowships. Your voice has shaped the revitalization of the Catholic Church as a member of the Board of Leadership Roundtable and the Board of Catholic Relief Services, chairing the latter board's response to recent church crisis and scandal. Your enduring commitment and wisdom have advanced the Benedictine community here as a member of the Board of Directors of St. Vincent College and Seminary. And so today, we recognize these outstanding professional accomplishments, along with those more personal ones of being mother of four adult children with your husband, Charlie Queenan, 
and a role model as a devoted Catholic serving as a lector, an RCIA sponsor, and a catechist. St. Vincent College is proud to confer on you, Jerry Eckhart Queenan, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa, this 19th day of December, 2020. Congratulations. Father Paul, Archabbot Martin, Chairman Donahue, deans, faculty, and staff, thank you for this special honor. St. Vincent graduates, congratulations. We applaud your accomplishments and your resilience. For this is no ordinary time. You graduate as the COVID-19 pandemic has caused countless deaths, sparked a global recession, and forced major changes to how we work, learn, and live. Grief and loss abound. And yet, at the same time, astonishing innovations are taking place, like the COVID-19 vaccine developed in record time this will revolutionize the way vaccines are made in the future. Out of tragedy comes opportunity. Our nation also reckons with racial justice. The pandemic exposed pre-existing inequities for all to see in housing, in health, in work. Already, philanthropists are shifting their grant making to change the systems and structures that embed this discrimination. So can it be that devastation spurs renewal? History tells us yes. Consider the Great Lisbon earthquake. On All Saints Day in 1755, a massive earthquake struck the city of Lisbon, Portugal. The city was completely destroyed as buildings collapsed, a tsunami swept away survivors, and fires burned for days. While the king struggled, the prime minister was prepared for such a time. He led Lisbon's rebuilding over the next 20 years with innovations such as prefab housing and underground water systems. Out of this devastation, entirely new fields of practice emerged, including modern seismology and urban planning. St. Vincent has prepared you for such a time as this. With the best of science and tech, business and communication, literature and culture, philosophy and theology, and perhaps most importantly, you carry the moral and ethical framework that our society so desperately needs as a foundation of this recovery. You are launching your adult lives in the decade that may be the most productive and influential of the next century. Accelerated by the pandemic, demand for technologies like telehealth online learning, video conferencing, and streaming are exploding. The future will clearly bring entirely new ways of living and working, and you will lead us there. But to lead in these times, you must do three things. Find your purpose, build communities of connection, and strengthen your own spirituality. 
Finding your purpose requires two things, discerning your special gifts and recognizing the work that is uniquely yours to do. I'm not talking about building a resume, but rather discovering what Thomas Merton named the true self, the person we are called to be. One night when I was 17, I was sitting at the dinner table with my mom and dad. And as we did most nights, my dad and I would watch the news and then debate politics and policy. He always won. But that night, my dad looked me straight in the eye and said, those who have the ability to solve society's most pressing problems have an obligation to do so. My mom cried. She thought that was too great of a burden. And he certainly was not trying to puff me up because my dad believed that we could not take credit for the gifts we were given. But he named something about me that I could not see. And that became the thread that carried me to business school, to corporate consulting, to work in government, and now to the nonprofit sector. Scripture tells us that we are given different gifts graces with which to serve others. Yet it's hard sometimes to discern what these gifts are. Our parents, our professors, and friends can help us if we listen. Frederick Buechner said it best, the writer and theologian, the place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deep hunger meet. Education lifts us up so that we can meet that world's great hunger. My dad was a first-gen college-goer, like many of you. He grew up very poor, but was encouraged by extraordinary teachers, and he aced an exam that gave him entrance to the Naval Academy, which changed the trajectory of his life. I grew up in a pretty modest family. Graduate school was that inflection point for me. If not for Harvard Business School at 24, I would not have been at the White House at age 30. To lead, we must always also build communities of connection. Relationships of belonging are essential for our happiness, whether we're single or married, religious or lay. For me, my marriage and four children are the deep heart's core. I was lucky. When I was 27, I had just started my first job at a business school, and a colleague said, I want to introduce you to somebody. He was the man who became my husband. That very first night, we talked about matters of the heart, the core values, and the events that had shaped us. That man is still my life partner, my best friend, my soulmate. We support each other in our mission-driven work, We've raised four children, created an extended community of family and treasured friends. Two souls united, grace at our side, is how we describe ourselves. Why do I tell such a personal story? Because our resumes are not the full truth of who we are. They do not explain how we accomplish the work we do. It's the relationships we form that enable and multiply our impact in the world. Take good care of the friendships you have formed here. Keep them fresh. These friends and colleagues will become godparents to your children, investors in your businesses, your rock when times are tough. To be a leader, you need to strengthen your own spiritual life. We all yearn for transcendence. Even though religious participation is declining in the U.S., 90% of adults consider themselves spiritual. Many young adults in the workplace seek meaning, shared values, and an experience of the presence in their lives. Increasingly, even secular leaders must speak to these deeper needs of their workforce, especially in this time of trauma. At my firm, Bridgespan, where the average age is 29, 
I see that the young people with strong spiritual formation and practice are rising up as leaders. The St. Vincent Benedictine community showed us the way. They demonstrate that contemplation transforms us. They model spiritual values of humility, respect, kindness, and generosity. My life has been changed by the blessed monks of St. Vincent here and their colleagues around the world. As pilgrims on the ancient route of El Camino de Santiago, my husband and I walked 200 miles across northern Spain to arrive at the ancient monastery, Benedictine monastery of Samos. It was built in the 800s and was the largest monastery in all of Europe. We were so fortunate to be invited to stay inside the abbey in the cloister for three days and we entered into the great silence and experienced the divine in everything and everyone. Contemplation leads to action. Father Paul told you that I'm involved in reform and transformation of the Catholic Church. The Church is in crisis. The horrific abuse that ruins so many lives and the leadership failures are outward signs. The hierarchy, the patriarchy, the clericalism, and sometimes arrogance are the underlying causes. While the secular world has learned a great deal about leading and managing large institutions over the last 100 years, unfortunately, these best practices are not widely adopted in all of our church. And personally, I believe that a church that stymies women and excludes others cannot thrive. So you might ask, well, why am I involved? Because the Catholic Church is the spiritual home and source of sustenance to 1.2 billion people around the world, including me. The Catholic Church is the largest provider of social services in the world. It provides 40% of all health care in Sub-Saharan Africa, 20% of education on most of the planet, 14% of health care here in America, and it is the largest provider of safety net services in the major cities of the United States. So once again, we have the both and. We have the crisis, but we have the jewels to be treasured. The pandemic has left churches and their coffers empty and depleted. Walter Brueggemann, in his great treatise, The Prophetic Imagination, reminds us that systems of oppression must fall and new economies of justice must rise. And it is the role of prophets to speak the truth there are new prophets among us, and it's time to listen. I am very encouraged by the innovation I see. Women in leadership roles having enormous impact at the Vatican and major archdioceses and the largest and most sophisticated of the Catholic nonprofits. I see lay people with significant experience taking on leadership and management roles in the church. And there we see growth. As futurist Bill Sharp tells us, this is the path of transformation, the pattern of hope. In closing, I call upon you to search for your special talents and build a life of meaning and purpose in service of others. Do the work that is yours to do pour your life out for others. Congratulations, and God be with you. Thank you, Dr. Queenan, for your outstanding work, your service to St. Vincent, and today's insightful and inspiring remarks. 
Before the conferral of degrees to the graduates of the class of 2020, we pause to remember faculty, staff, and administrators of St. Vincent College who passed away this year. Mr. David Collins, retired Dean of Admissions. Mr. Russell Edwards, retired Professor of Education. Dr. Charles Fozzi, Emeritus Professor of Accounting. Father Bede Hasso, Emer er, of the Order of St. Benedict, former registrar. Dr. Jack Macy, retired librarian. Father Jonathan Merman, of the Order of St. Benedict, carpenter. And Dr. Richard Basalik, emeritus professor of English. May their souls and the souls of all those who have departed rest in the perpetual light of God's love and mercy. The conferral of degrees will be done by school and program of study. The deans of each school will read the names of all graduates. Dr. Gary Quinlevin is the dean of the Alex G. McKenna School of Business, Economics, and Government. Dr. Stephen Jodas is dean of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing. Dr. Margaret Watkins is Dean of the School of Arts, Humanities, and the Social Sciences. Master of Science in Criminology, Damon Levert Black, Jr. Allison Eva Marie Dengler. Dominic Michael Doyle. Katwana Lee Faisenbaker. Mackenzie Elizabeth Gostomsky. Emily Veronica Joseph. Maria Alexandria Morgan. Chad Benjamin Painter. Trent Alexander Sellers. Ryan Matthew Sosnick. Megan Ann Taylor. Rachel Elizabeth Fanetta. Master of Science in Management, Operational Excellence. Humberto Baca. Camlin Marie Davis. Dalton James Dietrich. Melissa Allen Evans. Connor T. Lachlan. Adam David Matza. Timothy Martin McHugh. Luke Jacob Malloy. Carla Capel Pellis. Dylan Thomas Pia Trentoni. Kyle David Quiquoro. Alyssa Rose Salter. Naomi Teresa Schweiger. Brian Allen Schaefer. Haley Nicole Shiver. Andrew James Sig. Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Morgan Shelby Barlock. Shelby Christine Cardillo. 
Luke Aaron Crawford. Victoria Virginia Culver, cum laude. Greg L. Holzer. Aiden David Cardos, magna cum laude. Melissa Rose Kashut, summa cum laude. Jacob Forrest Kramer, summa cum laude. Madeline Marie Leia. Rebecca Emily Mayoni. Colin Richard McLaughlin. Anthony Thomas Nelvanko, cum laude. Stephen Christian Pater. Brianna Elizabeth Scott. Rebecca Lynn Stiffy. Eric Raymond Stunden, cum laude. Samuel Alexander Wingrove. Bachelor of Science in Business Economics, Zachary James Bashauer. Monica Sarulik Uchinski, magna cum laude. Tyler Joseph Mears. Joel A. Santoro. Bachelor of Arts in Criminology, Law, and Society, Megan Elizabeth Beatty. Thea Eileen Bush, cum laude. Daniel DePrize Butler. Thomas Francis Casey. Madison Marie Ford. Jessica Lynn Gibbs, summa cum laude. Isaac Garrison Gray. Noah Townsend Hanna. Dylan Anthony Hartlob. Michael Wesley Hildebrand, cum laude. Roman Joseph Loff. Jacob Michael Lefchik. Hope Victoria Long, cum laude. Quincy Urell Mays. Jacob Allen Minter. Adam Renee Paredes. Blake Alexander Robel, cum laude. Colton Reed Rowe. Emily Marie Samosuk. Thomas David Seibel. Justin David Smirez Niak. Tyler Jamison Sosnick. Anthony Michael Spinoza. David Chirian Stefan. Trevin Marquise Telfort. Rachel Elizabeth Vanetta, cum laude. Teresa Nicole Zambadi, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Arts in Economics, 
Metin, Burak, Erdem. Bachelor of Science in Economics and Mathematics, Cody Michael Adams, magna cum laude. Paige Elizabeth Montrose, summa cum laude. Zachary Robert Schuler. Isaac Colby Tyrion, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Finance, Anthony Michael Evendanza, cum laude. Nicholas Paul Bianchi. Keely Elizabeth Kane, cum laude. Jillian Marie Gassoni, cum laude. Lucas Richard Gearing. Alexander Isaac Grubstein. Brandon Warren Leader. Colleen Elizabeth Morrow, summa cum laude. Neil Hunter May. Thomas Gabriel McKeon, magna cum laude. Gabriel John Mertz. Mitchell Clint Niederstrauss, cum laude. Jarrett Michael Panza. Colin Michael Pastor, cum laude. Benjamin Joseph Price. Jacob Thomas Smell. Lauren Kathleen Wilhelm, magna cum laude. Leo Michael Wilson. Bachelor of Science in International Business, Chayton Dane Burchick. Samuel James Hungerford, cum laude. Brianna Grace Van Volkenberg, cum laude. Bachelor of Science in Management, Elprin Akshay Hirsch. Patrick Edward Cullen. Benjamin Robert Davis. Benjamin Patrick Davis, magna cum laude. Alexa Marie DeFrank, cum laude. Jana Marie Detour, cum laude. Connor Patrick Evans, summa cum laude. Shane Thomas Fight. Caitlin Lee Hines. Kelsey Lee Hood. Levi M. Humberger. Claire Marie Kenna, cum laude. John Miller, Kilcary. Joel Eugene Nepshield. Peyton Rowe Nupp. Sebastian Anthony Lambert. Tyler John Lockery. John Paul Meyer. James M. Malone. Shane V. Marsh. Kaylee Nicole Mahalik. 
Ian Jeffrey Mori. Michael Joseph Navarro. Evan Joseph Nosol. Zachary John Novelli. Nina Diana Pofiri. Brian Clark Reams. Jonathan Michael Suckup. Eli Timothy Savanovec. Cameron David Trout. William Tsall. Julie Ann Watkins. Christian Paul Witchy. Bachelor of Science in Marketing, Mitchell Manuel and Savino. Frank Hartley Casil. Joshua Timothy Duda. Aaron Nicole Giancola. Hannah Elizabeth Glashin. William George Green. Stone Jeffrey Haberstrow. Tara Catherine Konechny. Charles Brendan Linson Bigler. Jacob Robert Morrow. Thomas Jesse Neugenbauer. Samuel Vincent Nowicki. Philip Michael Petit. Ryan Paul Rodstas. Jacob Harley Schott. Brendan Joseph Shaughnessy. Jamie Lynn Sherry, cum laude. Jason Walco, cum laude. Bachelor of Arts in Politics, William Daniel Gonsowski, cum laude. Brendan Reed Hempstead. Megan Renee Horrell. Ethan Joseph Gerard Mady. Caleb John Olson Cum Laude. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Alex G. McKenna School of Business, Economics, and Government, it's my pleasure to congratulate our graduates in the year 2020. The following graduates are receiving the Master of Science in Health Science Nurse Anesthesia. Shelby Lynn Beck. Ted John Beck. Brittany L. Boyd. Remy Lynn Marie Brackett. Adam Levi Brinkerhoff. Lorenzo Noel Brown. Claire Elizabeth Caruso. Gage M. Chichester. 
This student is receiving the Academic Excellence Award in Nurse Anesthesia. Kristen Amber Chislow. Emily Paige Chrisman. Elise Sarah Clausen. Justin Daniel Dabuska. Sarah Elizabeth Gaeta. Sophia Josephine Alexandra Gradis. Kenneth Lester Guy Jr. Brittany Morgan Hanlon. Jennifer Marie Hicks. Alyssa Roxanne Hoke. Catherine Patricia Kinney. Kylin Renee Lees. Derek Christopher Mostaller. Jeffrey Quinton Owen. Danielle Lynn Pavlik. John Wyatt Ruby. Caitlin Patricia Rudge. Lisa Marie Stubbs. Brandy Joe Tarnowski. Lindsay April Van Ash. Janelle Marie Vasquez. Stephanie Ann Waters. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. Laurel Grace Bellacchio, magna cum laude. Ryan Todd Berger. Gina Marie Coldren, cum laude. Tyler Matthew Foradori, summa cum laude. Jacob Thomas Lex. Christian David Leffler. Mora Julianne Lochran, cum laude. Nicholas Charles Lubreski. Robert White Lynn IV, summa cum laude. Abby Manning. Moriah E. McGuire, cum laude. Dorothy Patricia Rowe. Olivia Faith Straka. Emily K. Young. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Bioinformatics. Nicholas Richard Chadwick, magna cum laude. Brian Joseph Signetti. Morgan Natalia Elric. An Quinn Lee, summa cum laude. Grace Campbell Noel, summa cum laude. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Art in Biology. Carlo Nicholas Boriello. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology. Caitlin Ann Ackenclose, magna cum laude. Louis James Boo Samra, cum laude. Morgan Marie Casto. 
Cameron Dane D'Alessandro. Ashley Christina Davis, magna cum laude. Sabrina Rose DeFeo. Nicolina Marie Gervin, cum laude. Joseph Robert Heath, cum laude. Harry Jacob Hiles, magna cum laude. Justin Richard Hoffman, cum laude. Stone Allen Holtzman, cum laude. Michaela Sue McCandless. Julian Paul Mitro, magna cum laude. Alex Daniel Morgan. Alexis Ray Mosher, cum laude. Natalie Ann Pavlik, cum laude. Andrew Philip Rechtenwald, cum laude. Rachel Anna Sarnowski, summa cum laude. Austin Gabriel Sai, magna cum laude. Teresa Suzanne Vandenberg, summa cum laude. Stephanie Nicole Vaughn, cum laude. Hannah Eleanor Wheeler. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Jenna Marie Answine, summa cum laude. Quinn Judith Donkin. Zelie Marie Therese Hummer, magna cum laude. Alexander Michael Kidwell. Morgan I. Patterson. Morgan Ashley Rittenhouse, cum laude. Olivia Ann Scott. Catherine Elizabeth Traeger. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Computing and Information Science. Christian Angelo Caruso, magna cum laude. Ryan Matthew Marks, magna cum laude. Sophia Polly Elizabeth Summers, summa cum laude. Nicholas Michael Winter, summa cum laude. Matthew Ross Wotechko, summa cum laude. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity. Jordan Ashley Wenterine. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Claire Marie Galvin, summa cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science. Matthew Ryan Bohr. Taylor Rose Boring. Jordan Malik Joseph. Colin Michael Neville. Austin Johan Rader. Morgan Nicole Smith, magna cum laude. Justina Marie Whipke. Tanner Logan Yard. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Science. Matthew James Bialis, summa cum laude. Caitlin Teresa Essig, magna cum laude. Emmanuel Miguel Flores. 
Casey Edward Markle, cum laude. Joshua David Soliday. Naya Silvana Wolf. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science degree in Integrated Science. Jake Thomas Amatangelo, cum laude. Marissa Jean Anderson. Megan Elizabeth Christner, cum laude. Danielle Maria Dorenzo, magna cum laude. Andrea Marie Gross. Allison Nicole Hartsick. Matthew Vincent Yeager. Casey Lee Kelp, magna cum laude. Gerald Edward Kiliani. Leah Angela Memo, magna cum laude. Victory John Mahalski. Holly Rachel Muniz. Brianna C. Musser. Jared Michael Palmer. Sarah Elizabeth Proud. Juliana Bianca Ruggiero, magna cum laude. Caroline Teresa Snyder. Megan Ruth Zabignowicz. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Math Engineering. Nicholas Jesse Bonn, summa cum laude. Dante Sean Fouth. Lucas Anthony Fayer, magna cum laude. Austin James Gary, summa cum laude. Nicholas Anthony Gaudi. Philip Don Johnson III. Gavin Richard Matiasik. Raymond Antonio Milky. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics. Hope Alexandra Sofranco. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Eric Vincent Bono, magna cum laude. Randall Allen Kokenauer. Gabrielle Morgan Lucas. Gage Robert McCracken. Allie Ray Richter, cum laude. Maura Ling Er Williams. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Physics. Nicholas David Bono, cum laude. Father Lawrence Macia of the Order of St. Benedict, summa cum laude. David Kyle Mignana, cum laude. Garrett Roy Delbert Stadler. Sarah Louise Wozniak, cum laude. The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Physics Education. Nathan David Porter, summa cum laude. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing. Earning the Master of Science in Counselor Education, Ross Allen Abbott. 
Alexa Rose Dines. Lauren Elizabeth Edmonds. Michaela Loring McMullen. Earning the Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction, Brenna Ray Barsick. Taylee Ray Dunaway. Mariah Lee Ferraco. John Joseph Howard. Colleen Marie Kincaid. Margaret Ann Nelson. Kayla June Uvegas. Courtney Lynn Watt. Receiving the Master of Science in Instructional Design and Technology, Alyssa Brecht Conrad. Josemir Suzette Dieppa. Matthew W. Hankinson. Cassandra Lynn Smith. Earning the Master of Science in School Administration, Robert John Fetter. Susan Lori McKeever. Pin Yu Yang. Courtney Lynn Saramba. Earning the Master of Science in Special Education, Julie Sahula. Abby Eileen Conrad. Hannah Olivia Earhart. Marissa Nicole Falkowski. Douglas John Huff. John Anthony Malone III. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Helena Rose Zrill. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Art Education, Sydney Elizabeth Hoffman, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Rachel Christina Bellis. Gabriel Dene DiPaolo. Laurent Jones. Ashley Nicole Krauss. Anthony Langford. Jacob Robert Mercer. Tristan Newcamp. Catherine Elizabeth Schallert. Kayla Lynn Sovenik. Kevin Edward Tregoning. Elijah James Urban, summa cum laude. Blake Christopher Wade. Logan Christopher Wade. Anna Grace Zarin, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Digital Art and Media, Peyton Rebecca Sterencheck, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Science in Early Childhood Education, Ashley Christina Brady, cum laude. McKenna Christine Bressler. Claudia June Clemens. Journey Lee Crutchman, summa cum laude. Victoria Lee Daig. Leah May Fertile, magna cum laude. Grace Audrey Harris, summa cum laude. Jessica Renee Hardner, magna cum laude. Sarah Rose Kalp. 
Maria Elena Loftus, cum laude. Brandon Richard Lucas. Marissa Catherine Makey, magna cum laude. Molly Ann Massimo, magna cum laude. Sarah Marie O'Callaghan, summa cum laude. Heather Lynn Ramsey, magna cum laude. Livia Agatha Wentworth, cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in English, Jessica Marie Ackerman, magna cum laude. Haley Hunter Blair. Anna Marie Decrees, magna cum laude. Hannah Nicole Fox, magna cum laude. Kara Dawn Jane Gary, summa cum laude. Paige Danielle Krampaski, summa cum laude. Michaela Kit Cruzweiser, summa cum laude. Joanna Teresa Phillips, cum laude. John Patrick Rogan, cum laude. Irina Olegovna Rusanova, magna cum laude. Nicolette Joan Smith, magna cum laude. Elijah James Urban, summa cum laude. Robert Clifford Wynn, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design, Alice Elizabeth Bortz, magna cum laude. Jennifer Margaret Myers, summa cum laude. Derek Fom, cum laude. Zachary M. Plappert, magna cum laude. Heather Danielle Rigg, cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in History, Victoria Elizabeth Grace Bader. Michael Andrew Doling, magna cum laude. Maria Allen Fetty, cum laude. Frederick Noah Gillespie, magna cum laude. Stuart Ozeny Hall. Brayden Keith Hone. Michael David Mondock, magna cum laude. Anthony Michael Pippick. Colton Robert Scott. Jacob Lewis Sisnick. Joel David Trenton, summa cum laude. T. Jack Andrew Bethune is earning the Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts. Also earning the Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts, Michael Robert Wright. Earning a Bachelor of Science in Middle Grade Education, Ryan Patrick McCannahy, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Silvio Manuel Garcia. Paul Allen Kenger. Mario Giovanno Maschiantonio. Catherine Marie Palco. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Politics, Ryan Thomas Farrell, magna cum laude. Alex James Rosa III, magna cum laude. Paul Francis Weiser, summa cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Theology, 
Andrew Charles Conley, magna cum laude. Phil Tran, summa cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Garielli Thomas Ballpringle. Allison Elizabeth Bilholovic, cum laude. James Reese Borkowski, Jr., cum laude. Jessica Marie Brinker, magna cum laude. Zachary Allen Budd. Elliot Andrew Campbell, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Leanne Clark, cum laude. Angelina Marie Deanna. Benjamin Patrick Davis, magna cum laude. Paige Elizabeth Lee Dawson, summa cum laude. Hannah Elizabeth DeBone. Rachel Elizabeth Jenis. Kaylee Lynn Gojkovich, summa cum laude. Carly Celine Grove. Kelsey Marie Huffman. Mary Kathleen Hurry. Kelly Ann Ingram. Elizabeth Veronica Close, cum laude. Nathaniel Robert Cole. Christina Mackenzie Lane. Catherine Rose Lutkemeyer, summa cum laude. Jordan Marie Major. Megan Nicole Miller, summa cum laude. Victoria Nicole Monstrola, summa cum laude. Megan Ann Morone. Caroline Marie Nelson. Jonathan Michael Oskin. Tia Marie Carrier, magna cum laude. Jessica C. Ray Marino, magna cum laude. Aaliyah Irene Rhodes. Rachel Nicole Siemens, summa cum laude. Kyle Andrew Theodore Upchurch. Kayla Van Tassel. Matthew Glenn West, magna cum laude. Arian Beth Winkleblech, cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Public History. Jacob Michael Clark, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Dawn Ashley Campbell. Kiana Sierra Howard. Christopher John Kell, magna cum laude. Madison Elizabeth Kolar, magna cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Spanish, Shailen Rose Vukic, summa cum laude. Earning the Bachelor of Arts in Studio Art, Anthony Paul Descani. The Bearcat Best Program is a transition to adulthood program serving students with developmental and intellectual disabilities. It provides training in academics, self-advocacy, and social independent living, as well as vocational skills. It prepares students for competitive employment 
and participation in their communities. The BEST, in Bearcat BEST, stands for Building Excellence Through Skills Training. But it also signals the enormous effort and dedication of the program's staff, instructors, and most of all, its students. Today, we recognize these unique learners who are ready to make their own meaningful contributions to society. We acknowledge their accomplishments with a certificate of program completion. Sean Beener, Aaron DeMaio, Luke Krumenacher, Joseph Mink, Paige Thornburg, and Thomas Yonick. On behalf of the faculty of the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, I congratulate the class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be viewing this, please join me in a round of applause for the entire graduating class of the year 2020. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce senior class president, Mr. Jack Kilkerney who joins us from flight school in Nashville, Tennessee, to address his fellow graduates. Hello to all my classmates and St. Vincent College affiliates. We all wish we could be together today for our graduation. Amidst everything that's going on in the world around us today, I hope that you, your families, and all your friends are in good physical, mental, and spiritual health. While some things might seem a little bent right now, they are certainly not broken. Continue to be strong for the people around you. And when you need a rock, put your trust and reliance into somebody else. Since all of us have moved on from undergrad at St. Vincent College, we all have a new patch or several to wear on our sleeves. These patches could be, but certainly not limited to, a degree, a job, further education, or maybe a newfound sense of independence. Please wear these patches proudly because you have earned them. None of us made it solely to these places on our own though. But we did take the initiative to succeed. I believe that we can agree that taking any initiative requires a great deal of energy. Of course, depending upon the size of the target. So always aim big, and if you're gonna miss, miss small. Use your abilities and skills that you have crafted throughout the years and find something to invest them in that you have a burning passion for. And if you do this in a world that sometimes does not seem so opportune, you will find that opportunity that you've been seeking. And if you ever have trouble with that, take a look around at the many examples that have gone before us. Keep showcasing your desires, maximizing your capabilities, and most importantly, fight the best fight that you can every day that God gives to you. Congratulations on your graduation. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you and those who you love. Thank you. Thank you, Jack, for your encouraging words and positive message during these most challenging and difficult times in our world. We wish you and all your classmates success in your endeavors and look forward to hearing from your stories when you return to campus often. We now welcome Father Killian Locke, Director of Campus Ministry, 
to offer our benediction. Following Father Killian's benediction, the St. Vincent alma mater will be performed by the chairperson of the Fine Arts Department and Associate Professor of Music, Mr. Tom Octave. Thank you for joining us today for this virtual commencement and congratulations again to all of our 2020 graduates. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on these women and men on their commencement from St. Vincent. As they prepare to go forth with their degrees, may they also carry with them the mission of St. Vincent College, the knowledge they have from their studies, the heritage of Benedictine monasticism, and the love of values inherent in the liberal approach to life and learning. I pray that they may use these to bring solutions to a world whose challenges are both unpredictable as well as long-standing. May these graduates open their hearts to God's love and guidance and see the broader purposes of human life so as to live the Benedictine value of welcoming all as if they were Christ. May the Holy Spirit bless them with the wisdom and gratitude to appreciate the gift of this time and place in their lives. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. <laughs>